Hello, today I'm going to talk about the updates to the ServiceNow Paris release and the updates to software asset management. ServiceNow delivers exciting innovation through our scheduled release process. We release our product twice a year. The features listed here gives you a perspective on continuous focused releases that we have driven with input from our customers. For our Paris release, there are eight main areas of focus. Those include software asset connections, Azure AD integration for SaaS license management, manage application rationalization, Oracle Solaris support, Oracle database options enhanced support, SAP engine licensing, Microsoft Visual Studio, domain separation, and managed service provider support. We'll start with software asset connections. SAM Pro allows you to use the ServiceNow platform centralized identification and reconciliation engine, or IRE, to enable integration of third-party discovery data sources with the software asset management application. You can use your existing discovery tools, such as Tanium or ADDM and others, to populate discovery data into the CMDB and software asset management tables. You can automate rules to import data into the correct tables, minimizing errors and effort. This improves data quality with the automated deduplication and reconciliation of incoming data from multiple sources. We support the data required for VMware, Oracle, Microsoft, and other publishers. Next is Azure AD single sign-on for SaaS license management. A challenge we have seen in many businesses is SAM managers wanting to analyze usage data for all their SSO managed apps inside their SAM solution. To that end, we have added a single sign-on integration point to Azure AD to download applications, users, and user groups. We also analyze usage information for each application at the user level. Additionally, SaaS providers have compatibility to sync with Azure AD and add or remove access within the corresponding SaaS portal. We can also reduce costs by optimizing user access to applications based on usage trends. These updates provide broad visibility to a large number of applications managed by Azure AD. This mitigates the requirement for a large number of direct integrations for quick time to value. Azure AD is the most popular SSO technology for enterprise organizations. The integration can provide user access and user login activity for applications under management. The next update is manage application rationalization. Other challenges we have seen in many businesses is shadow IT spend. This can lead to a lot of purchases of similar SaaS applications and customers lack visibility and processes to rationalize these purchases. To help with this, customers can now use ServiceNow's spend detection feature to categorize overlapping software products based on license spend and on number of products. You can also create a demand to recommend actions be taken to consolidate purchases to align with corporate strategy. And you can track the demand in project portfolio management to realize cost savings opportunities. Next, Oracle database licensing on Solaris zones. Supporting an Oracle database on Solaris zones hard partitions reduces software spend by using a license only for the Solaris zones hosting the Oracle database and not the physical infrastructure. This feature supports per processor and named user plus licensing. Oracle licensing calculations are dependent on the virtualization technology used to support the Oracle database deployment. These SAM updates provide support for complex calculations of Oracle databases deployed on your Solaris zones. SAP Engine Support. ServiceNow is enhancing support for the SAP Engine License Management. With this, you will have complete visibility to complex SAP environments, which reduce risk of indirect access and optimizes spend by uncovering duplicate and inactive users. You'll receive the most optimal license recommendations and be able to discover and analyze SAP data within ServiceNow. Microsoft Visual Studio Support. Identifying use of Visual Studio applications can be difficult because non-discoverable attributes are required to accurately calculate usage. So the ServiceNow content library will now deliver Visual Studio Suite definitions. 
Also, install conditions identify software discovered in development or test environments where Visual Studio licenses can be applied. And lastly, customers are given the ability to true up costs, over licensed amounts, and potential compliance issues. Domain separation for managed service providers. The Paris release brings many new benefits to managed service providers, like the ability to accelerate into new markets with software asset management and hardware asset management, and to provide ITAM as a service. Those services include contract and entitlement management, discovery and normalization reporting, software reconciliation, optimization, and licensing expertise, audit response, software lifecycle and vulnerability reporting. The benefits to the customer are letting experts provide them best practice services and processes, and there will be no platform or process ownership required. This has been a high-level look at the ServiceNow platform Paris release features. Thank you.